Welcome back to part three of a four-part video with Louise Armstrong from Dubai and Nancy Muller, that's me, from California. We're talking about life coaching. And one of the things that Louise and I sh wanted to be sure that we brought up in this video was the difference between all of the different coaches out there. You have life coaches, you have business coaches, you have finance coaches, you have health coaches, you have uh, there's just so many. And um, one of the things that you want to think about, some people come to me and they say, I'm having trouble with my finances. Can you help me make more money? Now, obviously, I would turn them over to a financial coach if money was the basis of, of their challenges. But it's important to understand a lot of people think that they want more money when actually it's our relationship to money that we really want to get down and dirty and, and understand where that's coming from. And our relationship to money has to do with our beliefs around money. So you can see that the lines of coaching are really blurred because um, you might think that you need to find a coach who's going to work with you solely and teach you, you know, debits and credits and, and um how to balance a checkbook, and if, and if that's what you need, then you would probably want a financial coach. But this is why it's such a good idea, as we said earlier, to shop around and talk to different coaches. When you understand that if you're having challenges with your finances, changing the way you look at money, your beliefs around money, can really help you um, break through those barriers that you have around your finances. And Louise had um, kind of brought that up a little bit in her introduction that she was having massive amounts of financial challenges. And when she started changing her financial mindset, that's when things started changing for her. So um, Louise, what do you tell people when they come to you and ask uh, about financial coaching? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if it really was the basis of, of their issues, I would um, recommend them on to a, a specific financial coach. But on the, the lines of my own personal story, I really believe that was what was wrong in my life. Mm -hmm. was, um, my, my finances were a mess on, on paper. There was no denying it. You know, we were over leveraged with mortgages and, um, you know, end of story. It was a financial mess. But deep below that, why we would got into that financial mess, which is the key, was my mindset and my emotional relationship that I had suffered with my mother, um, you know, for most of my life, this destructive relationship. So once that got it, stood, you know, started to sort out, so did the finances. I mean, it was unreal. It, it just sort of went, whoa, how, how did these two happen? And on a personal level, because it was so much more important, the emotional side, um, that's been a far greater revelation to me um, that, than the finances but I do um, help many clients who will come to me with a health issue, um, generally around weight. Um, so, that, you know, there are a lot of pounds overweight and they've, they've been on a diet for 20, 25 years, you know, a very long time. And they're heavier than ever. So they, they've had enough and um, they will come to me with, with that, in, that in mind. But below that, you know, by the time we even get talking after week one, we're not even talking weight anymore. You know, exactly. Relationships were on to what is the emotional issue that's beneath all that weight? Because on a logical, conscious mind, we all know it's not rocket science. You eat less and you exercise more. So why do we have a worldwide issue with obesity? Mm -hmm. If we know that, you know, we all know that it's it's not. Um, you don't have to be super intelligent, you know, to understand what you need to do. So why is it we don't do it? Mm -hmm. And that's when we really get into the emotion and the beliefs um, and et cetera, et cetera. So it is really important when you are looking for a coach and you do have that discovery session that the opportunity, you know, you can really feel that affiliation and is that coach going to be able to help you, you know, because I think deep down we all know there's stuff going on below the weight issue, you know. Right, right. And if but we just don't know what it is. Exactly. And if you're not the kind of person who wants to go to the gym and have someone, you know, be a drill sergeant and force you to do, 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 and then you just 
avoid her and stop going because that's not what you want to do. It's important to understand that there are issues below the surface about why you're not exercising or why, you know, you're having health issues. So again, this is why we suggest that you shop around. And you're going to hear us say throughout all these videos, shop around, shop around for a life coach, just would, like you would shop around for a car or any anything that you purchase in your life, because mm -hmm. it's really important to find someone that you can um, be in touch with energetically. That's so important. And um, it's really important that you feel when you talk to that person, you're going to know, you're going to say, wow, I really felt like she got me. She really understands. But if you talk to someone who you feel is browbeating you or saying, oh, well, you need to do this or you need to do that, that's not what we're here for. That's not what we do. So make sure that the person, that the life coach that you're, um, that you're interviewing, make sure that when you make that decision to finally start working with that person, that they are empowering you, that you feel empowered just after the 30-minute or however long discovery session you have with that person. And also, make sure that you ask the coach, you know, I'm not really sure if this, is, if, if this is right for me. Would you have a list of other coaches that you could refer me to? And oh my gosh, if you ask me that question, I've got a list as long as both of my arms. I just feel so blessed that I know so many life coaches, Louise being one of them. And, you know, I... I after the discovery session, if I just find out, you know, I think that what you really want is maybe this. So again, there are so many life coaches out there that really embrace the concept of collaboration rather than competition. And that's what you want. You want someone who is working with you or referring you to someone else because they have your best interest at heart not because they're trying to get another client that's so important remember that please when you say louise what do you say if you just feel that um you know you're you're having a discovery session with someone and you just feel like the energy is off i know that you've told me that you refer them out as well yeah no a hundred percent um because we, we're not going to have that feeling with everybody you know different people need to be able to work with, with different people and at the end of the day I can't help everybody anyway you know there's um a, a, and you know we can only help um people who are going to be able to work with us so it is really really important I mean that is that is the basis and anyone out there you need to really listen to yourself and if someone's telling you that you you know they're going to tell you what you need to do and that um they're going to demand things from you. You know, I would retract right back from that. Mm -hmm. I, I really would. A coach is going to hold you. They, they're really going to hold you accountable. They're going to support you. They're going to give you constructive feedback. They're going to give you tools. They're going to give you suggestions. They're going to brainstorm with you. They're going to guide you. They're going to give you a whole new perspective on life. They're going to cheer along with you and they will, at the end of the day, they're going to keep you accountable, but they're not going to tell you what you need to do. And if you feel anyone's telling you, you need to do la, 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 I would, I would pull right back. And for me personally, if I felt I wasn't a right fit, I would 100% recommend that person on because it's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to help that person get to where they want to be. So why would I also invest my time in that person right you know? it's um, it's got to be two-way 100 percent. and if there's any alarm bells ringing listen to them you know and i would always recommend somebody um on because it's not right for me to work with them either i don't want to convince people to work with me right you know it needs to be a natural decision you need to go yay exactly and you will know trust me you will know when you're working with a life coach, you should feel empowered, not browbeaten. If you feel like, oh, it's time for my coaching session again. Ugh. No, you should be looking forward to it because you feel so energetic and empowered and, and positive and you're like, whoa, I can't wait to see what I'm going to learn this time. And, and because as we grow and we you know, connect with our higher self, that is a glorious, glorious feeling. Why would someone not want to do that? So if you're not working with someone who's making you feel that way, then you're working with the wrong person. 
Yeah, uh, absolutely. T totally. Yeah. And it's not good um, for the life coach or the person, you know, yeah. it's a two way thing, a life coach. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't want to work with someone Nancy was thinking, Oh God, I've got to speak to her again today. Yes. That, that's terrible. You know, I, that, that, that's really, um, and that's where the honesty comes in also from the client. You need to be 300% honest yep. uh, with your life coach. And if it is not working, you need to say, don't cover it up and try and make it work. You know, it's not working. Because this is about empowering you, ladies. This is about helping you understand the power from within. Being empowered does not mean you have power over another person. Being empowered means that you feel heard, you feel valued, you feel that you are part of something bigger in your life, and you just, like your chest just swells and just opens up and you're like, wow, this is an awesome feeling. And that's, that's how you want to feel. So if you're not feeling that life coaching can really help. And that's why we suggest again, shop around, make sure that you are working with the right fit, the right coach fit. How's that sound? Yeah, that, that, that's it, Nancy. It's got a fit. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And so again, I hope that we're, that we're giving you some great nuggets about working with a life coach and um, stay tuned for part four when Louise and I will be back sharing a couple more nuggets.